30. Last week, we told you about a common practice at the State House where all bills brought before a committee are held for further study. Tonight, we're learning about two state lawmakers who have broken the trend. Joining us now are State House insider John Laughlin. John, thanks for being with us today. Tell us, please, what happened. Sure. Well, just when we were talking about the practice of holding bills for further study, Representative Karen McBeth, a Democrat from Cumberland, and freshman Representative Dan Gordon, a Republican from Little Compton, Portsmouth, and Tiverton, forced a vote in the Veterans Affairs Committee on a bill that would create a study commission to assist veterans at Rhode Island's public colleges. Can you explain for us exactly how they forced that vote? Sure. When the bill came up, Rep. McBeth quickly made a motion for passage, which was seconded by Gordon. The chairman, Representative Raymond Gallison, a Democrat from Bristol, tried a vote to hold the bill for further study. But Gordon objected, and after some contentious debate, the bill was passed by the committee and will be now considered by the full House. Why is that significant, and how does it affect Rhode Island voters? Well, it's significant because it could be a sign that the rank-and-file reps may be making their voices heard and bucking the leadership of the House to bring more bills to the floor despite the wishes of that same leadership. Now, this is important because it allows our individual representatives to push forward issues that matter to Rhode Islanders, even if few in the leadership want those issues to stay bottled up in committee. Okay. John Laughlin, State House Insider, thank you so much for your insight today. Thanks, Erin.